Good morning. Hello, my name is Gina Reese. It says Abrazino in the, the book, but it's been a while since I've been in Abrazino. I would like to congratulate all of the Hall of Fame inductees here today, and a special thank you to the YSU Hall of Fame Committee for this prestigious honor. This is truly a lifetime achievement for me, and I'm so grateful to be here today. My son is very much into baseball right now, and we go through his baseball cards, and he asks me, is this a Hall of Famer? Is this a Hall of Famer? I have no idea, but now mommy is a Hall of Famer. <laughs> I grew up in Niles, just 15 minutes away from campus. I went to high school at Warren JFK, and I now teach in the Boardman Local Schools. The Youngstown area will always be my home. I can't buy enough YSU Penguin gear, and I'm a very proud Penguin. Not only was I able to compete here in a Division I sport, but I had an amazing education and I earned my teaching and my principalship degree here. I'm here today because of my golf accomplishments. My golf career started as far back as I can remember. My dad always had a love for the game and he had my brother and I outside in our front yard swinging clubs shortly after we could walk. We really had no clue what we were doing. A few mishaps here and there, I somehow managed to backswing I maybe a seven iron into my brother's eye, giving him 13 stitches. Sorry, love you. Handsome man over there today. No, no permanent damage. Luckily, this didn't deter either of our golf careers. Growing up, I was a sports kid, like I'm sure many of the inductees were here today. I competed in gymnastics. I played softball, basketball, track, swimming. I loved games and I loved competition. To the very much annoyance, again, of my older brother, I wanted to do everything he did, and I wanted to beat him. He was a great athlete and older brother, and luckily my parents made him put up with me. Being a sports kid, unfortunately, means being very busy, as many of the parents in this room today know. Year after year, season after season, you don't really get weekends off. I became a little burned out at the old age of 12, and I decided that I didn't want to do the All-Stars softball team. I wanted to go on vacation that year. And my dad, being a sports dad, was like, well, you can't just quit everything. you got to do something. If you want to go on vacation, you can golf on vacation. I, I was sold. Let's go. From that summer on, golf became my, became my passion. Golf was a family game. My brother and I always trying to beat my dad. That didn't take very long. <laughs> and my mom following along, getting her exercise, and she was always there. I had the most supportive parents. I was so lucky, lucky to have my family that they were there buying me practice aids, swing trainers, weighted clubs, impact bags, and lesson after lesson. My parents drove me all over Ohio to compete in junior tournaments, um, waking up early, lessons. Um, my dad always wanted me to read about golf. There was a Harvey Penick's Little Red Book that I think he gave to me about 10 times. I never read it. I would always say, OK, Dad, just give me the cliff notes. He was great about that. He does the same to my kids today. Golf is a teacher of patience and resilience. My father instilled at me that tournaments and games are not one the day of the competition. They are one practicing. This could not be more true for golf and probably many other sports as well. If you put in the work, you see the results. He would always say, not only in sports, if you do things right the first time, you don't have to do them again. Well, I really was annoyed by this saying when I was younger, but as an adult, I realized it makes a lot of sense. In my college days, um, I became really good at something called a four iron punch shot. And Coach Roseanne reminded me of that today. Now, if you know a little bit about golf, a four iron's a harder club to hit. You can hit it really low. Well, you don't have to use that a lot unless you're in the trees a lot. Well, I seemed to find myself in the trees a little more than I'd like, but I was always able to get them out. And why? Because I practiced that shot over and over again. I think to everybody's amazement, they'll be like, wow, you really got that. <laughs> I have many people who are responsible for me achieving this award, including some amazing coaches. Tom Ryder was my high school coach. Leo Zampedro, may he rest in peace, was my swing coach. And Coach Rosie, Coach Roseanne Schwartz. These people were incredible coaches and all-around humans. They encouraged me, they motivated me, and I believe they loved me like a family member. My high school golf coach was probably one of the first people to message me and tell me how proud he was of me. That It just means a lot to me as an adult and as a parent. 
I do not believe I would have been as successful without them and them giving me the opportunities and mentorship. Roseanne rec recruited me to play at YSU. She was a great coach and role model. She helped me also choose my edu education career. It couldn't have been easy for her to put up with all these 18 to 20 year old girls that thought we knew everything, but we didn't. I'd like to thank my, in closing, I'd like to thank my family for being with me here today. My husband, Matt, you are my heart. I'm getting him into golf. He's not a huge golfer. My children and hopefully few future penguins, Ari and Anthony. Anthony, sorry. My brother, Vito, who always supported me. His beautiful wife, Courtney. My niece, Autumn. My in-laws, Deb and Jim Reese. And of course, my parents. These people are my village. And they put up with my crazy antics. Because let me tell you, I'm always doing something. Throughout my youth, I was able to achieve many first place awards, won many tournaments and titles, including Horizon League Player of the Year. Golf was my entire life. Over time now, my family has become my greatest accomplishment. But thanks to YSU and Jamie Hall's random Facebook message, message telling me he had good news, and I was like, okay. Uh, I was hoping it was the Hall of Fame. I really was. This has reignited a flame in me for golf that, you know, I haven't done a lot. You, as a parent, you put your kids first and their sports first. And now we're golfing. I've got my kids in lessons. And I don't know, I'm excited to see what our future holds in golf. I'd like to thank YSU again for this award. It means more to me than you will know. Thank you again.